In this video, we'll repair a Mead LX200 Telescope's CPU board. This board has a hard short across its supply rail, and a common cause of that is a shorted power supply bypass capacitor, C8. Often the capacitor ignites when shorted, literally bursting into flames, and that's obviously what happened here. Often, simply replacing it will bring the board back to life. We'll start out by grounding ourselves, since this board is static sensitive. Examining it, we see that C8 shows clear evidence it burned up and possibly damaged nearby components as well. Here's C8, or what's left of it, and it looks like it sent a lot of heat and soot out in this direction. We're going to have to clean all of this off of here so that we can give it a good inspection. That way we can tell if any of the nearby circuitry has been damaged. Since we have to remove C8 anyway, Let's get it out of the way early and then that'll make our cleaning and inspecting job a lot easier. We're going to leave a little bit of the lead left sticking out of the PC board. That's going to give us a place to hold our tweezers when we try to desolder those leads out of the hole. We're going to try scrubbing the soot off with some 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip. This is working nicely. The alcohol seems to be removing the soot pretty easily, and with the Q-tip we can even make sure that we get the sides of the resistors that were messed up nearby. And we're going to use a toothbrush here to just make sure nothing's in between the leads on that IC. And we'll do some final cleanup with a Kim wipe. We'll replace C8 with a 6.8 microfarad 50 volt electrolytic capacitor. The long lead is the positive lead, the short lead is the negative lead. On the negative side of the case there's also a silver stripe. If you look closely you can actually see a small minus sign on that stripe. To remove the short pieces of lead that are still in the holes, we'll hold on to what's sticking up with the tweezers and then heat the lead up at the base of the PC board with the soldering iron until the solder melts and then we should be able to wiggle the lead out. There are two problems on this board. One is the leads are bent on the back side a little bit so they're hooked in and you may actually have to push them out through the back rather than pull them up through the front. The other problem is the minus lead is connected to a large trace and it takes a long time to heat that trace up with a soldering iron. So sometimes it's useful to add a little bit more solder right to that lead so that the heat conducts better and you can melt the solder that's holding the lead in a little bit easier and then pull it out. Okay, we're finally getting our lead out, last lead. And now we're going to want to use a solder sucker to clean out the remaining solder from those mounting holes.
After removing C8, you can see that there is no damage to the PCB, and now that they are clean, the nearby components do not show any damage. Those holes look nice and clear. Now, we're ready to install our replacement capacitor. We're being careful to make sure the long, positive lead goes into the hole marked with the plus sign. We're going to move it over sideways and we're going to make sure that the leads don't touch and have nice easy curves on them so there's no strain when we solder. We bend the leads on the back side flat so we can hold the capacitor in place while we solder it. Now we snip off the leads and we're done installing C8. There's a nice look at our finished installation. Now all that's left is to test it. We'll start by measuring resistance from the plus to the minus power terminal on the CPU board. This will give us an idea of whether there's still a short remaining. We're reading about 6.8k ohms. That tells us there's no longer a short circuit on the main CPU board. What we'll do next is actually connect power and measure the current that the board is taking when it's powered up at, uh, say, 16 volts. We're reading about 140 milliamps. That's normal for this board, so we're in good shape. Thanks for watching the video. If you have questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you.